Well, obviously, just extremely happy to get a win. I mean, um, it's we've sat on a, a, a bad two two game losing streak um, over the break, so no one has any fun when that happens. Um, I liked how our kids responded, scouted, um, and and you know, in in most ways executed. Um, obviously, that was a shell of uh, the team that Cal is and has been and will be. Uh, not having you know three of their top players, so uh, I feel bad for Sharman. They've had a great start to their season, and um, I expect them to be you know a, a a competitive team against everybody in our league. And I know we'll we'll see a different team when we go back up there. But for as far as it goes with how it plays out and how this whole thing is, is we'll just live with you know we we'll, we'll celebrate a win, and uh, we're one and zero, and we're happy about that, and we'll move from there. All right, if you have any questions for Coach, please raise your hand on the Zoom. Uh, Coach, just talk about that first half defensive effort. You limited them to 14 points, really strong defensive effort overall. Just kind of talk a little bit about that, and just was that a key emphasis coming into this game? You know, I, you know, I think it had probably had a lot more to do with Cal just being short on the players that dominate the ball and dominate a lot of shots. So they were feeling themselves out, I'm sure, and trying to figure out where points would come from and who would create the points for other people. You know, Jada Curry is, is one of the best players, not only in our league, but probably across the country. And she really creates baskets for herself and others. So, um, you know, I think it's a little bit on them trying to play without some of their key pieces. And, and but, you know, for us, absolutely, we'll, we, we, had an idea of what we wanted to do against everybody on the court. We knew their personnel pretty well. Uh, we had, a, I think, a really effective game plan. And for the most part, we made most of their shots pretty contested and hard. And, and, um, and, and you know, anytime you hold a team down to that in, the, in, a, in a half, you're, you're doing some good things. Freshman Tara Wallach had a big Pac-12 debut. She jumps back into the starting lineup, scores a career-high 12 points, hits a couple of three-pointers. How big is that in her maturation and just her development to come out here and, and have a strong first Pac-12 game? You know, Tara is a, it's a tremendous player, tremendous freshman. Um, we need her on the floor. We need her minutes to continue to stay at this level or – um, you know, she's just a, a, she can be a really effective player on the defensive end and the offensive end. I think she has a lot to learn on the defensive end because she's playing positions and bodies that she's never played before. Uh, but she's so willing and she's so um, hungry to get better. And uh, you can just see some of the glimpses of some of the things she can do. She can score a lot of different ways. Uh, you know, her, that block on the, on, at the rim was impressive. I mean, her length is just – people don't realize how long she is. Um, and, again, just a weapon for us that we need uh, to get scoring, a scoring punch from. And if, whether that's starting or on the off the bench, you know, we need her to, to get to double figures, I think, every game. All right, Coach, well, we appreciate your time. Congratulations on the victory. Best of luck on Sunday against Stanford and go Kooks. All right, thanks, everybody. Go Kooks. <laughs>